Well, it's 2025 and Apple has finally launched the calculator app for their iPads. In the newest version of iPadOS 18, the calculator app is pretty sick. Well, people usually say that when Apple launches something, they add their own touch or their own flavor to it. That is definitely true. Also, a side note, most of the features that I'll mention in this video are also applicable to the newest iOS version. So math notes and a lot more. Let's dive into iPad OS 18. First of all, I would like to show you the customization option. So on the screen, you can see the new wallpaper of iPad OS 18. What I would like to show you is that Apple has added the customization of icons feature in this version. You just need to long press on the home screen. As always, all the apps start dancing. You need to go in edit in top left corner and click on customize. And there you go. You can change the way your home screen and all your apps look. Yes, finally, Apple has that available now. So you can choose between light, dark. Yes, they look really good. You can even select what sort of wallpaper. So even the wallpaper dims up behind in the background. You can also select the size, whether it's large. If you select the large, the text disappears. Let's go back to small. And even you can make it automatic. So depending on what the wallpaper is or what time of the day it is, it will automatically change it for you. But more important is this tinted version where, as you can see, you can select whichever color you want from the drag. Yes, Apple has finally given you the option to make your icons look in whatever way, whichever way you like. You can just select the colors, you can drag, and then you can see whichever icons you like are in that color. And that looks pretty nice as well. But for now, let's just keep the dark version because I like that. So this is about the customization. Also, if you go into control center, the control center now looks a little bit different. The size of the icons are a little bit different now. It's more rounded. Also, you can see now there are different sections in the control center. So even you have this now playing section where if you have some music or some video going on in the background, that will appear over here. And also the connectivity section where you'll get information about the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi you're connected to, VPN if you have. Also, if you click on the plus icon, then you can add whichever control you have, just like it used to be previously. But the control center is now redesigned in the way it looks. Another thing is the passwords app, which has now been added. So if you go, there will be a new app called passwords. Passwords is basically an app to store all your passwords. So let's say you own an iPhone and you have logged in Amazon through the Safari and you put some Amazon password. It will save it and then it will sync across all your Apple devices. Yes whichever website you have visited through Safari, it will save it and then your passwords will be synced across all your Apple devices. So next time, let's say you log into Amazon again on your iPad, you don't have to remember it. It will be synced across all devices and that's pretty handy. One more thing is that a new hidden folder has now been added in the app gallery to the extreme right. Hidden folder is basically if you have few apps which you do not want any third person to access, you can store those apps in this hidden folder or the hidden space. If you click on it, it will ask you for your touch ID or face ID, and then you will be able to access it. But apart from you, no one will see the app. But all these are pretty minor changes. What I would like to show you is this new calculator app, and that is pretty revolutionary. So if you open, it sort of looks like a basic, same Apple calculator app, but it's not that simple. As you saw, if you click again, you have now a basic calculator, also a scientific calculator. Yes, that is pretty good. And also you have the option to use convert. Well, and not only currency, it can even convert different type of units, be it angles, area, currency, of course it's there, and any sort of data, any sort of unit that needs some conversion is possible over here. And that is pretty, pretty, pretty sick. Because 
It's something which you usually do not feel you need it, but you never know. Instead of going on to Google and then searching for some conversion, you have it right there in the calculator app. That is pretty handy. But one very, very important and very interesting is this maths note. Let us suppose you are a student and you are doing some calculations. Well, now your calculator app will do the calculations for you. Let me explain. Let us write 4 plus 3 equal to, there you go. That's it. You don't even have to calculate. The app or the software does it for you. The only thing is that you need to put the equal to sign. So that's sort of like an indication for it to know that, well, I have to now calculate whatever has been written to the left hand side. Well, let's make it more complicated. I want to go with 12 times 3. Okay, there you go. It knows multiplication. Let's make it a little more complex. Let's say you do 12 into 12 and you divide it by 18, put equal to. Well, I hope it's correct. The only thing you need to remember is in order to get the answer, you need to put the equal to sign. Well, another thing is that not just numbers, you can even use variables. So let's say x is 3, y is 4, x plus y. Well, you get the 7 and it also asks you whether you want a graph. And there you go. You have the graph right to your equation with x as, oh, that's y. So y as 4. And it sort of needs like a learning curve to get used to it. But well, you, you, they're, 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 it's limitless. You can um, not only use numbers, but let us try if it works with some trigonometric functions. So let's say you have A as 30 degree, B as 70 degree, and sine of A plus B. There you go. It works even with angles. It works even with trigonometric functions. So the use of this is pretty limitless. Apple in its demo also shows that you can insert graphs, you can calculate pretty complex equations with it. As long as you have variables defined and you write equal to sign, it knows that what it needs to calculate. So that's been it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys install the latest version and see you around.